Hello guys, this is Bashir Durani again. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, a load balancer, TP-Link load balancer, uh, TLR uh, 470T+. Plus. Uh, if you are a network administrator and looking for an ultimate solution, uh, this one is a very amazing thing especially its firewall features uh, and if you have multiple internet connections and want to merge those connections into one and have ultimate control at the same time uh, this one is the best one so as you can see this one is the van and these three three ports can be changed into WAN 2 so all in all you have four connections uh, coming in from the internet and one output so let's plug it in go to computer and uh, uh, it's been a long time and we'll see what were we doing with this this tool Welcome back guys. Now we are going to uh, check the router. I have plugged the router to my computer uh, from the LAN connection, the last one. So let's check if I have the IP address. Uh, as you can see, one is wireless network uh, and one is the network. So I'm going to go to open network change adapter settings local area connection double click on that go to details find the default uh, gateway uh, here it is 192.168.0.1 so let's go there 192.168.0.1 hit enter the default uh, password and uh, username is admin admin so here is the status LAN is here and three van connections mm. quick setup uh, you can quickly set up your uh, router to do things go to network yeah this one is important uh, if you want to uh, change your LAN for LAN connections into WAN, you can simply tick here and save the changes. Uh, plug one internet connection here, one here, one here, and one here, and up to four connections of internet connections uh, routers, you can plug them in and one output from LAN port 5 uh, so after that you can expand your network uh, let's go to LAN yes you have the option to uh, select the subnet mask from uh, 255 computers to about a thousand computers I think mm, it's more than thousands uh, 25 uh, multiply by 25 255 multiply by two, 255 uh, that's too many so uh, you can either select 255.255.255.0 uh, or if you have so many computers in your network you can select the other one to be easy uh, I have explained the networking very easily so here it is host name and uh, the when setup uh, as you can see uh, select when one uh, after that don't uh, select any one of the do those just select the dynamic IP and save that uh, if you have other collection connections do that for the same connections other connections too so the 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 main router this one 
TLR 470T uh, plus is going to obtain the uh, IP address for this this uh, WAN connection one two three uh, automatically uh, and it will not create collision uh, among those routers uh, IP collision they will collide to each other as you can see when one MAC address uh, of course if your uh, routers that are uh, you have multiple routers uh, if they are there there is uh, MAC filtering enabled you can just add those uh, MAC address MAC addresses over there you know, to enable your internet connection load balancer there you go enable one two three enable extra IP addresses dispatch rules extra IP dispatch rules uh, that is very large topic to explain so load balancing mode yeah this one is important uh, intelligent balance uh, if you want to uh, equally uh, share the load across all three of your connections you can select the intelligent balance or if you think a specific connection of your uh, among your uh, internet connections is is uh, a faster one you can define that too balance policy this one is a little bit complicated to explain uh, it will take more time DHCP settings uh, you can add multiple at the time th I was using this router I only had uh, about 200 computers uh, in my network so uh, least time so that's why I have defined only 199 of them so DHCP client list uh, so its uh, status now this one is important so when you go to firewall settings security enable firewall uh, first of all you have to enable the firewall after that go to the mac filtering uh, you have to define all these things especially this one deny to uh, deny to access websites uh, this one is domain filtering i will explain that uh, so this one is allow these PCs with the enable rules to access the internet now this one is very important to remember uh, because if disallow this uh, your MAC filtering will not work uh, if you want to have ultimate control uh, over the devices that are in your network uh, you have to define this so uh, for example this MAC address back in time and the status was uh, enabled and you can delete that modify that uh, disable or enable that etc uh, okay domain filtering this one is important this one is important because uh, in a specific uh, environment when you don't want your uh, uh, servants to uh, use the internet for uh, social media and stuff uh, you can add multiple domains and disable them uh, for example add new add the domain address and disable uh, so your your uh, your servants will not be able to use the social media uh, if you want them to work harder uh, depends on you totally so static routing uh, you can add that session limit quality of service dynamic DNS yeah this one is very handy uh, switch settings uh, this one is uh, once again a larger uh, topic to 
for this video so this one is uh, the main thing in this router uh, that's why I bar bought this one uh, you can enable domain filtering enable make filtering and read these allow packets not specified by any filtering rules to process through the router as you can see uh, allow allow to access the website specified by rules so uh, you have to read this uh, and uh, allow these pieces with enabled rules uh, to access the internet if you deny them with enabled rules uh, Mm, they will not be able to uh, uh, use the internet uh, the static routing uh, IP filtering uh, you can yeah there is one thing DHCP client list yeah this one this one is important if you want to add a specific uh, uh, IP address assign a specific IP address to a specific uh, MAC address this one comes uh, handy when you want uh, to know uh, what every client is doing uh, there are of course many tools that uh, uh, if you install the server into that PC and you know the IP address and the of course you have defined the MAC address and IP address uh, already so you know what's the IP address of a specific computer uh, you can take control of that computer very easily back in time we used to do that so uh, a very great memory so this is it uh, if you have any questions leave a comment I will try to reply you or make a video about that. Uh, if you like this video, please share with your friend and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I will try to come up with uh, more technical and more advanced videos. Of course, uh, it's been a long time, uh, so I will try to do my best. Thank you.